I came to talk. I've been thinking lately about you and me and how it's all gonna end. We're going to kill each other, aren't we? Perhaps you'll kill me. Perhaps I'll kill you. Perhaps sooner. Perhaps later. You know this, don't you? You're afraid. Of you? Of death. You're the last one. You were supposed to be the last of us. I suppose we're both disappointments. You're odd. Humankind is odd. We're all doomed. But a thing isn't beautiful because it lasts. We all think chaos and order are somehow opposites. Try to control what they will be. But I think there is grace in our faith. And I think you never learn. You are unbearably naive. Well, Ernest Hemingway once wrote, the world is a fine place and worth fighting for. And I believe in the second part. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon you.
I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man, but then it was nothing to me but blind. <laughs> the shadows betray you because they belong to me. Massive expansions of consciousness. We need our paradigms and views on this world to expand so dramatically that we are incapable of ever going back. Not without us willingly and consciously destroying parts of our true nature. The time for hanging positive notes on bathroom mirrors is over. There is no time for self-help books. No seminars we can go to. These things that let us gain momentum and inspiration that last only moments. end this. 